In this Blender tutorial I will show you how to apply rigid body physics to a large number of objects. I've assumed you have some knowledge of working in Blender, especially the physics side of things. Other tutorials can be found in my playlists. Okay, well this is a very simple glitter ball that I've created and it's made up of individual pieces of glass for want of a better word. But as you can see here there's an awful lot of them and to place an effect on each individual um, object would take a long time. But you can actually copy um, a rigid effect uh, from one object to a large number of objects. First thing I would suggest though is make sure that all of your objects if you uh, go into object make sure you've set each individual object up to origin to geometry. Okay. So the first thing you need to do is just select one of your objects. So I'm going to come up here and select this first it says sphere and then go into your physics tab and then go into rigid body now as I said at the beginning I assume you have a little bit of knowledge of doing uh, setting up rigid bodies so all I'm going to do is just change one thing in the collision section next to shape where it says convex hull I'm going to just select mesh. Okay. There's a few ways you can select everything. Um, the easiest way, uh, if you haven't got a crowded view, is just go into wireframe view. And uh, I'm going to just box select all of these. You can also select by going to the end or selecting all your objects down here. But in this instance, I'm going to just use this box um, select. OK, now we've got everything selected. Come back up to Object. What you're looking for is Rigid Body. And then next to Rigid Body, you want to left click on Copy from Active. Now, this, depending on how many objects you've got, this may take quite a few minutes so you're going to have to be patient and wait for these tabs to disappear. Okay, hopefully now if I go into uh, I don't know, a view that makes sense you should find that you've got your physics applied to each individual um, object and they should all say the same so yes mesh so that's all there is to it so I won't go into any other details like I said at the beginning hopefully you have some knowledge of using rigid bodies in Blender so as I usually say hopefully that's helped somebody thank you for watching cheers